What is up guys guys and I'm Zero one here with another FIFA 17 formation guide This one's gonna be focusing on the 41212 the second variation Which is the more narrow with CMs instead of the left mid and the right mid if you want to see the regular 41212 I do already have a formation guide So make sure to check that video and check out all my other tutorials and top five videos If you're new to this channel as they will help you out in FIFA 17 and make sure to subscribe So you don't miss out on any future videos so like all my other formation guys, guys, we're going to go in detail on the best instructions and the ideal players for this formation. We're going to start off with the right back and the left back. Tell them to stay back while attacking. You want to have players, like in most other four back formations for left back and right back, that have at least 85 pace and at least 80 defending. The higher the better, but really left back and right back guys, you don't really need to spend too much coins on them. They're not as important as some other positions. We move over to the center backs and what you want to do is tell them to stay on the fault instructions which is to stay back while attacking and this position of course very very important you want to spend some good coins if you're playing ultimate team for this position you want to have at least 70 pace and at least 80 defending if you can get that defending to 85 that would be even better but at least 80 defending very very important position if you want to have a good solid defense then we move up to the cdm i tell them to cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking once again very important position because there's just one sole CDM. So you want to make sure he's a true CDM. He has great defending stats. At least 75 defending. If his work rates are defensive, that's even better. You want to make sure he stays back and helps out that back line since there is no one else. You can't really use a center midfielder that has below 75 defending. It's just going to leave you a little bit vulnerable. So try to get somebody with at least 75 defending in this position. Then we move to the sides with center mids, and for this, I don't tell them any new instructions. I leave them on default. No need to mess around. This formation, I don't really mess around too much with instructions. You want to make sure these guys are good passers. The great part about this formation is a great passing formation, so you want to make sure these guys are good, solid passers. Very, very important. This is formation for those teams that have great midfielders for those leagues like La Liga that have a bunch of midfielders that are really, really solid. So definitely make sure these guys have good passing skills. Then we move up to the center attack in mid and all I tell them to do is to stay forward. Another very important position. You want to make sure once again, good passer. I like to have this guy a little bit faster than my two CMs. Usually I like to have the faster of the two, the better passer, just because he's the one who's really going to facilitate those strikers. And that's a great part about this formation to have two strikers. So that's why I have Iniesta up here as the center attack mid for this team. Then lastly, guys, the strikers and what I tell them to do, the only thing I switch up, once again, not much switching up, just to tell them to get in behind. I want them to make some runs. If you have some players that are a little bit slower that you really don't find the use of them making runs, you can tell them to be target man instead of getting behind. But usually, I just tell both of them to get in behind. You want to have some good, solid strikers because this is where most of the goals are going to come from. You want midfielders that are good passers and strikers that are good shooters and dribblers to really get in there and score a ton of goals. For the custom tactics, guys, I have a best custom tactics video, which I basically use, but I do change one thing, and that is the first thing, the speed and passing. I put that way down on default in my custom tactic. It's around 90. I want it now to be around 40. So I drop that down, down quite a bit just because I want them to be shorter passes, a little bit slower build-up play, a little bit more passing, short passes, really get the most out of this midfield. So what are the pros and the cons of this formation? The pros passing, man. This team, the spacing, the passing, the positioning, really, really solid. This is my favorite formation so far in FIFA 17 because of how good the passing, the movements, especially with these instructions, with these custom tactics, really allows you to be really solid in the attack, really move the ball up the pitch, do those triangle passes, do similar to Tiki Taka passes for those teams. And usually center midfielders are much less expensive than wingers. And since this formation has no wingers, it really allows you to make a good solid team in ultimate team. Um, the cons, I guess, would be one CDM. I know a lot of people prefer to have two CDMs or at least two center mids that could help out on the defense. So if you're a little bit struggling with defense, that might be a little bit of a problem, but usually it's not a big deal at all. How to use this formation, once again, you want to pass with those midfielders 
pass it around, do short little passes, and then get the ball to your center attack in mid and look for those strikers making runs. That's why they are in the getting behind. So they make those runs. You got to look for them and score a lot of goals with them. Now I'm going to show you a few examples in game of me using this formation. Once again, guys, I love using this formation ultimate team, especially in those leagues that have a lot of good midfielders, really inexpensive midfielders like La Liga. Get the ball around the middle of the pitch. Wait for those people to make some runs. Do those short little passes. Get the ball around the middle of the pitch and score a ton of goals with your strikers, with your midfielders. Just a really solid formation. You really are able to improve your pass. You're going to see a lot of easier passes because they're going to be a little bit closer to you. There's more of a narrow formation that allows a lot better passes a lot safer passes and you're gonna see them constantly be making runs and making runs so you can look for them you just gotta take your time you're seeing here I'm doing a lot of fake shots to stop on the dime and waiting for my players to make some runs so that's just to buy time for them to make some runs do some precision dribble really get the ball in there and wait for those players to make some runs but that is it guys I hope you guys like this formation guide if you did please leave a like comment and share with all your friends definitely recommend you guys checking out this formation if you have not done so already click on one of these boxes check out some of my other series including my tutorials my top five videos like my top five skill moves ultimate team and the rest of my formation guys and of course click in the middle to subscribe so don't miss out on any future tutorials or tip videos thank you guys so much